Hi, welcome to Mr. Techpathy Tutorials. This is part 19 of Linux device drivers. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss following topics. First topic is open method. Under this topic, we will learn about container of macro. Second topic is release method. Both these methods are part of Linux device driver file operations. Let's start with our first topic, open method. What is the purpose of this open method? Open method in device driver is implemented to do any initialization for later tasks. So what tasks does this method does? Open method does following tasks. First, it checks if the device is not ready and checks if there are any hardware problems. Second, it initializes the device driver if the device driver is open for the first time. Third, if necessary, it updates the f underscore op pointer. Fourth, it allocates and fill data structure to be put in file pointer private data. These are the four basic tasks done by the open method. Having seen what exactly open method in driver does, let's have a look at its prototype. Prototype of open function is a function pointer with two arguments. Where first argument is a pointer to inode, where inode has information of i underscore cdev field. i underscore cdev field contains the cdev structure which we discussed in our earlier tutorials. The second argument to this function is a file pointer. Before going much further into open method, let's discuss about container of macro which is used extensively in Linux. Container of macro is a macro with three arguments. This macro takes a pointer to a field of type container underscore field which is a member of structure of type container underscore type and it returns a pointer to the containing structure. For example, if you take the skull device structure which we saw in Linux device driver part 14, container of macro can be written like this. This macro returns a pointer i underscore cdev to cdev within a structure of type skull underscore device. It's little hard to understand about container of macro in the beginning, but once you use it more, you will feel more comfortable with it. In future, I'll prepare a separate video on how container of macro works. For time being, remember that for our skull device, we receive a pointer to this cdev member when we call container of macro. Just to recap, we learned what open method in driver does. Second, we learned about container of macro. Now let's look at how open is implemented in our skull device. Below is the code snippet from Aureli Linux device driver book. If you look at this piece of code, it's pretty simple and straightforward. First, we are declaring a pointer to skull device. Now we use a container of macro which returns a pointer i underscore cdev to a structure cdev within a structure of type skull underscore device. Overall, we are just fetching the skull character device instance from inode structure. Once we get this device instance, we store it in a private data pointer of file structure. This will be used in our device driver for future use. This way, Prime underscore data carries the global instance of skull device for other functions to use and provide functionality of a driver. The last operation we are performing in open function is skull trim. So what exactly this skull underscore trim does? Skull underscore trim is a function that truncates the device file to zero when the device is open for writing. Remember that overall operation of our skull character device driver is accessing particular memory area of a device, nothing but RAM. For the first time, when the device is open for writing, the length should be truncated to 0 bytes because we have just opened it for writing. Now coming to our second topic, release method. It is just reverse of open method. We can call this function as device underscore close or device underscore release. When this function is called, it deallocates the file private data allocated during open. It shutdowns the device on last close. Let's see how release method is implemented in our skull device. Since skull device is a software device, we do not have any hardware device to shut down as a part of release method. So coming to the implementation, we just return zero in skull release function. If you see in this implementation, we are just returning zero. Have you ever wondered how the device driver knows when the device file has really been closed? To answer this question, you need to know that not every system call causes the release method to be invoked. Only the call that actually releases the device driver structure invoke the release method. Note that the kernel maintains a counter of how many times a file structure is used. 
only open creates this file structure it just increments the counter in the existing structure the close structure call executes the release method only when the counter for the file structure drops to zero which happens only when the structure is destroyed this mechanism between release and close guarantees that your driver sees only one release call for each open one important point to note here is that the kernel automatically closes any file at process exit time by internally using the close system call thanks for watching this video